Morris. Kelly King. In the morning, Eric V. Nick V. Hey, 40 past the hour, Nick V and Eric V, the Baker Boys up in here. Hello, hello. Here we go, here we go. You're on the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special guest. Special guest. Let's introduce Well, it's the Baker, baby. It's the Baker Boys in the morning. In the morning. It's the Baker Boys. And we got a special guest for you. His name is Dre Lloyd Rapping all the way from New Jersey, South Jersey, right, Dre? That's right, that's right. Welcome Absolutely. to California. Is this your first time out here, brother? Yeah, actually it is. Actually it is. First time in California, man. I'm loving it so far. So yeah. far. So yeah. tell us about Jersey. I want you to tell us about Jersey, man. Because I've what I've heard about Jersey mm-hmm. is there's a smell over there in Jersey. Whoa. No, no, I've heard it. <laughs> Aaron. I, am I wrong? How hey. are you gonna defend Jersey? Hey, listen, man, it's right hey, look, here. Look, man, look, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. They call Jersey the armpit of America, I'm man. I'm telling like, you, it's there's crazy. a smell there. It's crazy. Like when you drive from New York to New Jersey, you smell smell the difference. It's, it's like a different smell. Is it because it's, of the downwind you know from what? New York? I don't know. What it's it probably is. crap coming from New York. Bro, I don't know what I, I don't know what the hell it is. You guys haven't you gotten down to the bottom of it yet? Nah. I think it's just, man, it's probably just the factories over there, bro. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't yeah. know what it is. Because it, it, like, comes in and out. Like, when you're on the highway, like, you smell it. It's like, what, the, what, what is what that? Like, I'm yeah, not yeah, lying, yeah. Nick B. I, was, right. I mean, I knew no, this. Truth. Well, it's if you go through, if you drive through Bakersfield, our hometown, it smells like cow manure. Oh, yeah. It's farms, though. It's farms. It's farms and stuff like that. It makes sense. So, Dre, welcome to California once again, man. Yeah, you got a chance to you. see Santa Monica. Absolutely. You got a chance to go to the Marathon store. Yeah, absolutely. What else are you trying to do while you're here in California? Well, I'm going to go back to the Marathon store, you know what I'm saying, uh, today, you know, after I uh, leave from your show, I'm going right there. But uh, I, I'm going to do some tourist stuff, you yeah. know what I mean? And uh, probably like climb like the, the mountain, with, you know, the Hollywood sign or whatever. Yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, I want to go check out, you know, Malibu while I'm out here. That'll be pretty cool. Okay. Um,. Uh, we're gonna take a trip out to Vegas, you know, while I'm out here. You nice. know, so I'm trying to cram everything in yeah, within you got like to while you're three here. or four days. You know what I'm saying? So I just want I just want to see any and everything I possibly can. Okay, you know what I'm saying while I'm out here. Yeah. So let's talk about Jersey. Let's talk. Let's talk about rap in Jersey. Yeah, we know rappers from Jersey, Red Man. Mm-hmm. You know, we know Naughty by Nature. That's we right. know Queen Latifah, uh-huh. Foundation, uh, the Ooh, Flavor geez. Unit, and them. Mm-hmm. So who were your uh, inspirations coming from your hometown, your area? Because you grew up in an area where you know MTV's out and you know, everything's available for you on internet. Right. But back back in the days, you know, you had to, you know, kind of had to search for these MCs. Right, right, right. So, well, my, you know what, man, my, my dad, my dad is the one that introduced me to um, a lot of uh, a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? And he was like a real big West Coast fan. You know what I'm saying? So like he he would have tapes. Like I would be listening to old like King T tapes. Like you know wow. what I'm saying? Like nice. play like a piano was one of the things that stuck out of my head with no you know way. when he collaborated. Yeah, when he collaborated with Ice Cube. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know um, you know uh, 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 Cam. You know what I mean? Was was like, was like was dope. Yeah. Oh Cam. You know Peace Treaty Cam. Yeah, right. West Coast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, but but then he still gave me like the um, you know, he still gave me the Red Man's. He still gave me the Queen Latifah's. He still gave me you know, uh, uh, the Fuji's EPMD. You know what I'm saying? What year um, was this, man? Because there was a, I mean, there was a point in time, you know, hip hop. We've been around for a little while, but right, in right. the '90s, there wasn't a lot of. Uh, I guess it was the radio stations on the mm-hmm. on the East Coast weren't showing a lot of love to the West Coast. So how did your father come up with? Yeah, this? Yeah, I was about to ask that yeah. because there's been you know a typical misconception that people from the East Coast did the not like West, West Coast, Coast. hip hop music, and I know. There were a lot of gatekeepers, especially on the radio out there, right. that refused to play right. West Coast records and mm-hmm. would even get on the air and diss them. Right, right. You know, play it and be like, nah, f that. This yeah. is the East Coast. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Ignorance, bro. You know, we, <laughs> we right? like us here in LA. We never yeah. played that game. We was like, if it's dope, it's dope. I don't yeah. care where it's from. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, when when the South came out and when Outkast and all that stuff started mm-hmm. coming out, we didn't close. Ah, oh, that's from the South. Right, right. right. No, you got you open. Hip hop is hip hop. It doesn't have everybody. a boundary. Yeah. Crosses Absolutely. barriers. You know, Absolutely. yes, it was born in New York. Yeah. Yes, I get, we give you all that, but right. you know we show love to everybody. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I don't know where he got it from. To be honest with you, I just know we had it. Like he had like big, um, like crates damn. full of tapes. Nice. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I still have, uh, what's that? Um, Strictly Business, I think, Ooh, or whatever. EPMD, EPMD, like the tape. Yeah. Like, I still have like just the tape. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I don't know where he got it from. Like he was never on it like that. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? He just loved everybody. He was like, just you know a musical lover. Yeah. NWA, like all that stuff. Like I had, I had all that stuff. That's what I was exposed to. You know what I'm saying? So what did you? What made you decide to start picking up for rap? I was just finding. I was trying to find different ways. You know, it was like crazy, bro. Like when I was before I was even ten years old. Like I'm not even trying to like sound like weird or nothing like that. But before like. I was even 10 years old, bro. Like, I remember thinking to myself when my dad came home from work one day and I asked him where he was. He told me he was like, oh, he's like, oh I went to work. And I'm like, well, what is that? And he was like, oh, that's where I go to keep the lights on and stuff like that. I'm like, so you just do that for the rest of your life and that's it? And he was like, yeah. And so literally, honestly, bro, like, that's like 
from that point on, I was like, yo, I don't know what I have to do. But I'm not doing and, that. But I'm not going to do it. It has to be more than life. You feel me? Than right. doing that. So I was just finding different ways, you know what I'm saying, to express myself, you know what I mean, of, you know, drawing and, you know, that, you know, spilt over into, you know, poetry. And then, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, I spilt over into actually like doing rap. And, um, and so that's pretty much like how, like how it happened. I was like, four, I was 14 when I was 13, 14 when I started rapping. Once again, we have Dre Lloyd in the studio. What was your first MC name? So, okay, my first MC. Because I know everybody has a first <laughs> yeah, MC. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. I, I went through, I think, like two or three of them before I just was like, yo, I'm just going to stick with my name. Right, right. Uh, my first uh, MC name was Eclipse. 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 Because okay. I was like, oh, I'm going to block out the competition. And right. Like, some, some, corny, some corny stuff, bro. Like, you know catch this yeah. Eclipse, yeah. mother sucker. The, <laughs> uh, and then my second one was actually given to me by uh, West Coast Rap. Game, like you know what I'm saying? Game? Because he used to always say, "I'm like, damn, I gotta get rid of this name, bro. This, this is terrible." Like, you know what I'm saying? But then I was, because I was like a real big game fan, like okay. you know what I'm saying? So he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." You know what I'm saying? Protege, Doc Dre, and I'm like, "Oh, I like Protege. That's that's hot." You feel me? Yeah. So I rock with that for a couple years, and then. So uh, you got some raps with Protege in them? And, oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I got rap books, Wait, bro. Who yeah. is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Notebooks, who bro. would win in a battle? Eclipse, or Protege, Dre. or Dre Lloyd? Oh, me. A- Dre Lloyd, absolutely, man. <laughs> like, hands, like hands down. Dre dog. Lloyd is the polished. Yeah. yeah if yeah. you were to take out Eclipse, what rhymes would you use to take out Eclipse? <laughs> What rhymes with eclipse? Yeah. No. What, How you could know, you diss eclipse? Like, yeah. Can you diss yourself? Your uh, old MC name? Like, you used to do this. You used to use it. I don't even. I, I don't mean, even. you know stuff about eclipse that nobody yeah, else knows. Yeah. Don't, don't crucify me, though. Like, yo, I, I'm, I really. I, I don't even know. I would never, never thought about it, bro. Like, I, I, don't, you, I don't even know. Would you say would just eclipse? Kill would you say eclipse is a sucker? No, nah, saying. I would ne- never. Okay, never, <laughs> never, nah, never been a sucker. Out, like of, that. out of those three, which ones were su- were more suckerish? <laughs> uh, Eclipse, Eclipse, bro. Yeah. Eclipse, yeah. It would be the suckerish until the other three, but you know what I'm saying? But nah, bro. Like, yeah, that, that was just early on, uh, man. Like, I'm trying to figure myself out. You know, what I, mean? I think it's time to play a single, Nigby. Can you get this? Oh yeah, I you got, got it. it. I got the single mm-hmm. right here. Uh, you, t- tell us the name of it, brother. Yeah, sure. Uh, the name of the single was uh, "Sons and Daughters," uh, featuring Suzanne and Christine. Okay. Uh, all platforms right now, you know, Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, etc. Et what, what's this about? Uh, it's actually a conversation. I put this together. Um, it's a. Co- I don't have any children, but I tried to you know put myself in a father's shoes who might have um you know stepped out on his marriage or his relationship and stuff like that. So it's a conversation that um you know a dad you know what I'm saying would uh, would I feel as though need to have with his son and his daughter, explaining to them you know what I'm saying you know oh this is the reason why me and your mother's not going to be together anymore. Mm. Um, you know, some of that stuff is in there. You know, it's some things that was, you know, told to me, mm-hmm. you know, when my mom and my dad got a divorce. And um, so I just kind of like infused that into the uh, into the message. All right, let's get into this message. Sure. This is uh, Sons and Daughters, Dre Lloyd in the studio, available at all platforms. Yes, sir. You got to hear it with the Baker Boys right now. Yep. Coming up, the battle between Protege and Prodigy, Eclipse. Prodigy Eclipse. Eclipse and Dre Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. It's Sons and Daughters from Dre Lloyd, who's in the studio with the Baker Boys right now. That's a. Um, Heartfelt record right there, man. Thank you very much for making that. A lot of people were not, um, how would you say, confident enough to make a record like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? That's what it's for, man, to fill that void, you know what I'm saying? To kind of say things that people probably wouldn't have the heart to say, like you just said. You know what I mean? Right. It's all um, your all your songs lyrically, you know, content like that, things that are dealing with, you know, daily things that people go through, that, you know, the struggles of life that mm-hmm. come through with everybody, you know? Right. Not nah, well, it's, all of them aren't like that. Okay. You know, it's, uh, I, I definitely try to give that balance right you know because i can't you know I, you know you can't preach it you know throughout from from beginning to end you know what i'm saying right so i just try to um like i said i really just try to give people that balance and uh you know give them something to do i mean i got you know that songs i mean for the pro overall like the project itself like only a matter of time from beginning to end like tells a story mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and um it goes through different it goes through different phases you know what i'm saying so you might have certain songs that, you know what I'm saying, cater to, uh, you know, like the new wave, you know what I'm saying, right now, whatever. Then you have certain songs that would uh, appeal to, you know, uh, those who appreciate like the 90s, maybe like 80s type feel or whatever, even early like 2000s or whatever. And then you have, you know, you know, songs for the ladies. You know, what I'm saying you got, you know, songs for, you know, like, uh, you know, summertime barbecue. You know, it's like it's like a, it's like an even mix. Right. You know, what I'm saying between between all all of them. Is this your first project or second album? No, actually, well, I, I released I released a project called um, Humble Beginnings, uh, Not So Happy Endings in 2017. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I followed up with this. Uh, I just dropped this in uh, April of, uh, of this year. What did you learn from that last album that you 
applied on this second album or this next project? Just, just take my time. Just, yeah. say, just, just take my time. You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, like the thing is, is that like I know that, um, you know, once I actually get my my break, I guess you, you know, if you will, um, I have the way that my album that I want my debut album to the world. I know what I want that to sound like from beginning to end already. Okay. It's just because I know that my my resources are limited right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, just being real, like do like the finance and relationships yeah. and stuff like that right now. I'm not even going to attempt to try to do that yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to try because I'm, I'm going to spoil it. Mm. So, you know, um, you know, the way I put projects together is like I might literally be walking down the street or having a conversation with someone or um, might see something on TV or whatever the case may be. And that'll literally like inspire like the whole project. And then I'll just start like 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 playing things out in my head like for a couple weeks before I even start writing like you know what I'm saying and it's like because I'm mapping out how I want things to sound from beginning to end like it's like a, it's like a story like you know what I'm saying oh, you know, that, so, yeah. yeah that's pretty that's pretty amazing that you're able to do that mm -hmm. a lot of people uh, are not able to do that like see something be inspired and then map it out in their head and then actually bring it out to the it's world. like a puzzle it's yeah. like a, it's like it's like literally seeing like it's, this is the best way I can really describe it it's like you're seeing like you know when you buy a puzzle or whatever you see the picture of the yeah. puzzle like on the on, on the box on the box right you know what I'm saying and then I'm like okay so this is what it needs to look like this is what it needs to sound like in my head so like I'll take and go through production it might take like three weeks or four weeks of me just listening in different things to see what type of vibe I'm getting or whatever and then slowly but surely you know what I'm saying I'm like okay I'm, I'm gonna do like 14 tracks or whatever the case may be in the beginning it needs to sound like this the transition needs to sound like this, you see, what I'm saying like the, you know, everything, and I start putting pieces together, putting okay, it together, right, and that's nice. exactly how I do it. It's the Baker Boy Show. Thank you for tuning in. We have Dre Lloyd in the studio, 55 after the hour. We talked a little bit off the air about right. the, you know, Nipsey Hustle right. and how much he, you know, inspired inspired you yeah, yeah. with what he was doing mm -hmm. and 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 the whole thing, and you know. Tell us about that a little bit more if you can. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, like, like I was explaining to you before, like I'm a really, really big Nipsey Hustle fan. Mm -hmm. It's not like one of those things where I'm just like following the trend now, like right. you know what I'm saying? Because you know, because of what happened. Right. Uh, so I've been listening to him, you know, since since I was a junior, I think like that in high school. Like, you know what I'm saying? So right. um I was always inspired by um him uh wanting to own everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was he, he wasn't really like, you know what I'm saying, you know, following, you know, following trends or whatever. He was staying true to himself. Like I said, like I was like my first mixtape that I heard by him was Bullets Ain't Got No Names Volume 2. And then from there, you know what I'm saying, I've been just, you know, following, you know, um, him like as a, as, a, as a person. You know what I mean? Because I felt like what he represented, you know, was something that, you feel me, I felt like I was. You see what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, like, damn, like if he's doing it, I know I can do it now. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Like even though his music and his style might be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what he stood for and what he was trying to accomplish is what I was setting out to do for myself. Right. You know, so um so when so when that happened, it kinda it kinda it kinda hurt me because uh because it, it seems like, you know, no matter what, you know, we uh, try to do with our with our influence or mm -hmm. you know, with our gifts or whatever, it's always something that, you know, disrupts that. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just like it's, What's the use? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You start thinking about that. Yeah. You start thinking like that, like, dang, like, what's the, what's really, if this is what's gonna happen to me, happen or whatever. What's, this, the, what's the, yeah, point? the why, eventuality why of something? Yeah, why even try? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, I mean, because you know, a lot of MCs like when they're in a a a bad area or they live in a bad area of town or there's bad things happening there, they try to get out. Mm -hmm. They try to get out as fast as they can. Yeah. You know, they may give back, you know, money wise for schools and stuff like that, but they're mm -hmm. not normally just staying there and and. and uh, you know, putting businesses up and stuff like that, right? Which was different for him, yeah. Absolutely. For anybody, absolutely. We haven't seen anybody do that, nah. not in the rap game. No, nah, no, nah, because well, well, because what I'm saying, like, I'm just, just, just being, just being completely honest. You know, it's like we, there's not a lot of people who take the time to educate themselves. All right, like I know the type of person that I am outside of just doing like the, like you know, the music thing. You know, for what I stand for, who I am as a man. You know, what I'm saying it, 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 it supersedes like a rap artist mm -hmm. you, you know what i'm saying so you know naturally you know you're going to want to do things or whatever to empower the people around you even people who you might not ever meet ever like you know what i'm saying like in your life so so it's like you know what he was doing he was not just not just like okay i'm gonna set up this uh charity program he was providing a platform for people to come in at an early age and start thinking yeah you know what i'm saying which a lot of people don't do right a lot of people don't think they just go they just go with the they just go with the flow you know, and um, and so it's just like, like I said again, like after after that whole thing, you know, just happened or whatever. It was just like, dang, like I, you know, what I mean, I'm trying to figure out like, okay, like what am because 
it's it's not it's not a lot of artists that are coming through the game like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's come, that's like really Once coming through the cracks. Type. Like yeah, 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 absolutely. Because it's like look at Kaepernick for example, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, it's, you know, it's it just it just really is what it is. Like you, you know, he took a uh, he took a knee to stand up for everybody else. Like you know what I'm saying? To we to try to bring some type of he used his platform to bring an awareness to an issue that we all complain about. Mm -hmm. Over and over again, like you know, what I'm saying, you know, being, you know, um, you know, uh, mistreated by, you know, law enforcement or whatever the case may be, and uh, and what do we do in return? We, oh, the Super Bowl's on, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying, like I don't condemn. Like my, my thing is, I don't, I don't, you know, condemn anybody. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But I'm just saying, like you know, for ever, for for so many people to complain about. We need more people with influence, more celebrities to do something. To stand up and say something. He stood up and said something. And lost they, his job, right. and then. And then what? Then what happened? Everybody just turned on Super the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, wings, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so uh, that's. I think it's ingrained into the society, you know, uh, after so many years. How many Super Bowls are we into? 50 years? 50 years. Yeah. Or, uh, something like that. It's it's already ingrained into us. It's broadcast to us yeah. on a yearly, uh, daily, mm -hmm. monthly basis. And if it's not football, then it's basketball. If it's right. not basketball, then it's soccer. If mm -hmm. it's not soccer, there's always something to keep us non thinking yeah, as a society. Absolutely. And that's exactly what that is for me. Yeah. Uh, as somebody who likes to be in control of things or I don't want to put my energy into something I can't control and that's football mm -hmm. and that's any sports activity for, yeah. if I'm not on the field I can't do anything about it so I'm not going to lose my mind over it yeah yeah I understand nah so, I get it I get it it's just I, society I think you know we've been we've been trained yeah 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 absolutely absolutely I mean like I said like I don't at the end of the day it's like this I feel as though the more you know the more the more that you you know understand the less you try to control things because mm -hmm. it's like you can't because you, you know at, um, there's one of the things that he said is that um, uh, actually he just said it when he was talking to Gary Vee he said uh, a, re uh, a reasonable man will try his best to adapt to the world an unreasonable an unreasonable man will try to have the world to adapt to him, to him. like you see what I'm saying and at the end of the day that just, I mean, that speaks volumes, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, like, you know, I feel like, you know, once once we start getting a hold of certain information or have like a certain level of understanding, you know, our first thing, you feel me, out of, you know, the kindness of our heart is to try to help others. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to push like, yo, like, yo, this is what's going on. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't, everybody's not going to, everybody's not going to do that. You know, it's kind of like you got to kind of like play chess and just, you know, Reach those who want to really know, like, you know, so we really want to listen. Yeah, you put know? yourself out there for those who are ready to listen. Yeah. And I'm ready to listen to uh, something that you did. If you could do it for us right here, I think it'd be very powerful, very powerful for our listeners and our audience and anybody that's listening right now to hear what you did on oppression. Oh, you, you okay. did you did a, a poetry, yeah, uh, some a poem yeah. on oppression, which was super powerful for me, and I want to uh, ask if you could share, oh yeah, that with our audience right now. Absolutely. Um. So so what I did, actually this was inspired by um. Uh, uh, by the documentary The 13th mm -hmm. I remember watching it and uh, I basically was was trying to in like two minutes um, if uh, like a, like if oppression itself you know was it was a person if we're, if, if, if oppression was a person and then you have the rest of us and they're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation you know what would oppression say you know to uh, to us as a whole in, uh, in 2019 like what would that what would that conversation sound like from oppression to from us. oppression to us and this is basically what it was so I said um I've done it all, all the tricks I had up my sleeve, all the smoke, all the mirrors, all the lies I told you believe, the broken promises for generations. I broke you down to your knees for hundreds of years. I found my happiness with such joy from hearing your screams. I killed your leaders, buried your brothers, raped your mothers and murdered your dreams. I lynched your fathers, erased your history. All your women forgot they were queens. I crippled your family, caused confusion. Yes, all a part of my scheme. You love my money more than you love yourself. I turned you all into fiends. I put you in poverty, taught you to hate yourself. Your brothers are not to be trusted. F black, whenever you see a reflection, I want you to feel disgusted. Do you remember? I I put that gun in your hand with all them bullets to shoot. And what did I tell you? Kill at will, but only the ones that look like you. I destroyed your image, replaced your crown, and still left shackles around your brain. So you forget that you came from royalty, and all you remember is change. So who was the one? Who was the one that gave you a real mother effing name? Tell me, who was the one that gave the liquor for you to drink to help wash away the pain? I was the one. I was the one that locked your soldiers away in a cage. I was the one. Why would you even attempt to break that circle of rage? I was your father. I'm the law. I'm the rhyme. I'm the reason. I created that God your mother adores, worship, loves, and believes in. So why don't you break 
How is it that you still have a smile on your face? Why don't you break? For every trap that I set, you found a way to escape. So why don't you break? Giving you reasons to cry and still you laugh in my face. So why don't you break? I've done it all to kill you and still you exist to this day. Why don't you break? Damn, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's crazy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for doing that, man. No, thank you, man. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, no doubt. You're on. That. You're on the uh, the route. You're on the route to you know to, to you. Mm-hmm. You know, becoming you, who you yeah. are. What do you want to uh, to be at the end of the day, Dre? What do you want people to to know about Dre? Um. Well, what I want people to understand and take away from anything that I say is uh is um I, I i really like embody and embrace the fact that i'm a human being that i'm going to make mistakes you know what i'm saying that throughout my conversations and throughout my um throughout my journey for the rest of my life i'm going to contradict myself that's just human nature you know so um you know a lot of people will um you know I, I've, I've you know received like um some like backlash on you know being like super i guess you could say like conscious on cer- on certain songs mm-hmm. and then other songs i might be talking about something that's like the complete like polar polar opposite opposite you know what i'm saying but it's like at the end of the day nobody i feel like nobody really wakes up positive every day nobody wakes up and feel like they want to save the world every day mm-hmm. like that's not that's not real like you know what i'm saying so i want people to you know um really just uh embrace being themselves and trying to become the best version of themselves that they can possibly be and it takes a lifetime to do that it's not something that you can go to a couple meetings or something like that you know what i'm saying or go to church a few times a mosque or whatever and then all of a sudden you're you know you're, you're brand new or whatever it's not like that you know what I'm there's saying? a new thing out we just found out about it today uh-huh. it is called you know it's a service animal is yes service animal a service animal you know like people that need like a, a dog or a cat oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like the therapy thing it's like a therapy yeah. thing yeah, yeah. there's a new thing that's called cow cuddling that you can go to a cow and like pet the cow uh to to make you feel better is this something that would possibly help and when you're feeling bad jumping into like cuddling a cow is this something that you would might possibly do no <laughs> like nah bro I was, I was waiting I'm like can we, please bring, can we please bring the cow in <laughs> <laughs> we got a cow on. I mean cause like you know what I mean it's yeah. a, <laughs> I'm looking out the door like I'm like is there really gonna be a cow? No, we have a, we have a yeah. pig out there. Though. Nah, bro, I'm good, man. It's <laughs> kind of the same thing. You can just go cuddle the pig. No, yeah. pet nah. it. Drain the I'm this cool off the animals, bro. I'm good. <laughs> you're not gonna do it. Nah, I'm trying to go vegan. You feel me? So I'm just gonna love I'm gonna the animals. Up. I mean, oh, you're yeah. not gonna eat the animal. You're just gonna pet it. Yeah, you're I'm gonna. gonna I, I, you know what? Stroke the cow. I'm gonna let them stay in their own little habitat, bro. You, you get me? some milk afterwards as well. Vegan. I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I just had to ask, bro. I'm on the It's called cow cuddle. It's a thing. Look it up. I, Brand new. For anybody who needs cow cuddling, I, I support. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you're trying to do. That, God bless, man. All right. Do me a favor, Eric V. Are you ready for this? Are we doing it? It's time to do this. And Let's now go. It's time for the new game show that's sweeping the nation. With your host, Eric and Nick V, where they ask the questions people think about but are afraid to answer. But not here. It's no holds barred. So let's get playing your favorite new game show. All right. You're going to get a lot of complaints after answering these questions, Dre Lloyd. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here we are, go. So you, they're quick answers, and you can just give us, you know, we're going to ask you questions. You yeah. give quick answers, whatever, mm-hmm. you, whatever you want it to be. Mm-hmm. Yes or no. You could say, you could answer it truthfully, you or you could pass if you want. Yeah, no, I don't pass. They're going to be random ass questions, though. All just right. letting you know. All right, here we go. Dre game. Lloyd in the studio with Have You Ever. Have you ever rode a horse backwards? No. Have you ever smelled your own feet? No. Have you ever picked lint from your belly button? Yes. I yes. Did, yeah. yep. All right, there you go. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Have you ever made whoopee with a ghost? Made what? Whoopee? Sex. No. No sex with a ghost. <laughs> Would you? No. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever been assaulted by an animal? I've been by a dog. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, assault. Yeah, that's assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's assault for Have sure. Have you ever had a feeling that Stevie Wonder can see you? No. Have you, have, you ever, have you ever done house chores naked? No. <laughs> have you ever caught your parents making whoopee? No. Have no. you ever made whoopee listening to R. Kelly or Michael Jackson? Oh boy. R. Kelly, yep. Yep. Will you do R will you do it again? Yeah, man, music's hot, bro. Like, <laughs> like it's what it is. I don't care. Uh, have, I, you, have you ever been invited to a wedding you did not want to attend? Yes. Have you ever farted in the elevator? Yes. Have you, have you ever been called to the principal's office? Yes. Have you ever fell in love over the phone? No. Have, have you ever mans Have you ever manscaped? Yes. Have you ever slept with a teddy bear? No. <laughs> have you ever baked a cake? 
Nah. Have you ever parked illegally in a handicap? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever drunk, text, and regretted it? No. Have you ever done? Have, have you ever had a one night stand you would like to redo? Oh, sorry. I give you a pre answer. No. No. <laughs> no. Good job, Dre Lloyd. Nah. Good job. Not Thank bad. You. And we're going to move right into Mouth Love. All right, so this is our departing song for you. Hold on, wait a minute. We didn't have to let him go yet. What do you mean? I think he's going to freestyle for us. All right, you freestyle? think? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure, in sure. a hot second after this, though. Uh, after this? Okay. Yeah. All right, Mouth Love. So Nick V's our instructor. He's going to give you some positive words. You know, the world's crazy. You may need cow cuddling. Okay. You may need <laughs> yeah. animal therapy, whatever right, it is. Right, this right. is your therapy right here. So right, we're in a therapy right. session. Nick V's our leader right here. We're just going to follow him. Go ahead, Nick V. Take it over. Okay, here we go. Uh, Dre Lo, everybody in the room, please take a deep breath. Over there, we need that. Push it out. One more time. Take a deep breath in. Change that. Changes the energy. Push it out. Because <laughs> air and, uh, you know, it's something we need in life. our life. You can't, it's can't live without it. All you have to do is repeat after me. This is going to protect you all day long, Dre, no matter where you go, whether you're on Santa Monica, whether you go to... Uh, over there to the other beach, Malibu. Yeah. Nobody can touch you. Gotcha. All you have to say are these words. Follow along. I am humble. I am humble. I, I am, am humble. proud. I am proud. I am proud. I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I am filled with pride. I am filled with pride. I love tacos. I love tacos. Dre, you are now in mouth love. Yeah. Hey, yeah that's see, what's up. that was easy. That and was I had easy. my first Cali taco yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. What'd you think? I thought it was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. I felt like I've been cheated. Where did you go? Where did you go to eat? I felt like I've been cheated for like the last 27 years. Oh, you man. You've been cheated in New York, man. Yeah, yeah bro. That's not right. That's not right, The bro. East Coast but Mexican went, food. It was, a uh, um, what is it? Gorilla Tacos, I think it is. What is it called? I think it's called Gorilla Gorilla, gorilla Tacos. tacos. Damn. Like get it in. I ain't even heard of that. Yeah. I, I don't know where. It, I forgot where it was at. So but. since you love Nipsey so much, I'm going to bless you with this instrumental uh-huh. right here and see what you can do for our audience before Check. we let you go. Yo. Hey, Lord. Yo. Hey, yo, I came in the game and dominated, dog. I own this. Spit heat, kept my ear to the street like I was homeless. You haven't noticed? I X squares out my circle, tried angles from different paths to get cash. I control this. They praying for my downfall. They wishing I fell. But feel what I say, like what I'm spitting was written in Braille. That's why I can't stand you dumb bastards. Stay full and f- they don't want to see me shine like sunglasses. Get in where you fit in, like you try and find parking. This one be fresh to death, but get dressed in the coffin. They'll take your life overnight, so when you out, take caution. Kids still die in the hood. Like Trayvon Martin It's babies using guerrilla tactics Spin get fitted back with metal jackets Zombies in the street like they directing traffic Lost in the dark without a light they can follow Quick to snap and twist your cap like they try and tighten the bottle A shame they twist it just to get to the cash Kick in your door, lay you on the floor and get to the stash Bloodhounds for the money, they smell it and try and find you Now let their bullets run through niggas like Black China But me, I'm the hottest in the street I'm the boss, yes Blue, Every rule in the game ain't lost yet Got a freak like Cardi, I hit it once She ain't want me to take off and won't let let me go, I'm offset. I'm the king, even in pl- places I ain't been yet. And they running, they lips is getting chin checked. Work it out, back on the grind, sneaks and gym sweats. In the game, raising the bar like a bench press. I hop out, army fatigue, ready for combat. Money team, I rack up like I'm bringing Saddam back. They see the bigger picture like an IMAX. So which do you want? Flow with the bars, I'm all in one. I'm like an IMAX. Reading every word in my contract. I'm far from a slave. New Jersey dog, home of the brave. I hold it down. It's nothing more than a phase. Y'all the reason pop. I can't rest in peace in his grave, and that's a shame. You putting in hours, I'm putting days in. Your chick was in the days in, I was breaking the frame in. Look around, we made men, they feel it in the air. I give them raw sh- feel like the old seagull with the braids in. You new rappers need to find another occupation. Dre Lloyd, the hot topic of all the conversations. Wrong, my time is now, I'm tired of waiting. Flow sick, strong enough to rock a nation. Hold sh- I'm here to teach you boys on how to be a man again. Now I don't think they see that quicksand them is standing in. I'll be making moves, you is man again. Got them panicking, I got that flow to make Puffy want to dance again You body yourself, I wasn't just my rap that killed you I ain't going for the f- sh- I'm just that realer Got these women seeing stars like my boy Jack Thriller Cause love me like a Snapchat filter Man, I'm nothing less than great, I never been no gimmick And y'all just wanna, f- I never, <laughs> Lieutenant Man, the bar's kinda weak and your flow no good You'll pop the same day, soldier get love in the hood That's February, see everything I do is legendary You just another green dread rapper, I gotta bury Where my shovel at? Hope you got some stacks in a safe stash Come on around, slow your money down like some brake pads, that's real talk, I'll be down south for the winter, with some thick Atlanta peaches, you can never get with us, whenever it's about that bread, I call my brothers and sisters, and bring my family to the table, like it's Thanksgiving dinner, that's real talk.
Man! <laughs> Damn! Told killed ya. it! Told ya. Dre yeah, Lloyd, how it. did they follow you? How did they find you? Instagram, yeah, Facebook, all absolutely, that stuff. Absolutely, man. You can follow me on Instagram, bro. Uh, D R E L L O Y D online, man. That's Dre Lloyd online on all platforms. You know, if you want to book me for something, you know, Dre Lloyd GM, good morning at gmail.com. Holla at me, man. I want to appreciate, I, I want to say thank you both for having me, got, for having oh, me on man, the platform. Oh, man, for sure, dog. man. For sure, bro. Yeah, like, you I hit us up you on, guys. I think you hit me up on, hit us up on Instagram and uh, I checked out your stuff. You're, you're yeah. persistent with it and you were solid gold. Yeah, man. Thank you're, you, man. You know what I mean? So continue on your route, brother. Yeah, absolutely, bro. We got that's you back here in California. Hey, that's what's up, man. I'll be hey, back, bro. What's uh, Protege and Eclipse's Instagram, bro? <laughs> uh, what's that called? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> server cannot be found. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what it is. That's server not found. Yeah. Radio, how it's supposed to be heard. It's the Baker Boys show. What's going on? This is dripping busy. Every f- day. Oh, boy.